U.S. inflation has soared at its fastest pace in nearly 40 years last month, a 7% spike from a year earlier that is increasing household expenses, eating into wage gains and heaping pressure on President Joe Biden and the Federal Reserve to address what has become the biggest threat to the U.S. economy. The biggest driver of inflation, according to economists, are mismatches between supply and demand. Many Americans are feeling the pinch. Higher food prices get a little bit on the rough side. Auckland resident Kelly Mon, who works as executive assistant at a tech company, says she understands that companies have to raise prices. In, in inflation and everything, delivery pro costs, like product costs, everything seems like it's going up. And you know, you empathize with the companies that are raising their prices because they're just trying to get by also and pay their employees a fair price and you want to stand behind companies, but it is, uh, it's harder to make your dollar lasts these days, it seems. You have to be a little bit more choosy about where you spend your money. And Whitney Weber of San Francisco says she is moving out of the city in large part due to the higher cost of living. Prices rose sharply in 2021 for cars, gas, food and furniture as part of a rapid recovery from the pandemic recession. It is, it's a big stressor for us. I mean, we are working off of two incomes luckily, but um, it's, it's been very tight, um, especially over the last six months for us, which is, a, it was a huge source of why we decided to move out of the city. Yes, we have definitely been pretty concerned with it, um, especially with gas, just because we drive a lot too. So if it goes up any more, that's gonna be really stressful for us. Um, I think with grocery, it's, it has been stressful. I think that, you know, we will make more cuts for ourselves on like what we need um, to kind of just like maintain survival on our budget, which stinks, but you know. As Americans ramp up spending, supply chains remain squeezed by shortages of workers and raw materials and this magnified price pressures. The Labor Department report on Wednesday that a measure of inflation that excludes volatile food and gas prices jumped 5.5% in December, also the highest in decades. Overall inflation rose 0.5% from November, down from 0.8% the previous month. Rice gains could slow further as snacks in supply chains ease, but most economists say inflation won't fall back to pre-pandemic levels anytime soon. Businesses struggling to hire have high pay, but rising prices for goods and services have eroded those income gains for many Americans. Lower income families have felt it the most and polls show that inflation has started displacing even the coronavirus as a public concern.